Hi everyone, I am Mark from the Soft Materials and Colleagues Group of Monash University, and I am here to present my research work entitled Smart Hybrid Micro and Nanomaterials for Next Generation Ultrasound Imaging. Everyone must be familiar with ultrasound imaging as a technique used in taking these black and white pictures to help make sure babies are healthy before they are born. This imaging technique is actually very useful in the diagnosis of many other diseases. And in fact, 64.2% 60, of the total ultrasound market is occupied by the bi-diagnostic ultrasound. And this field is continuing to develop, mainly driven by aging population and prevalence of many types of diseases, such as cancers and heart problems. So how does ultrasound imaging work? Ultrasound imaging uses reflected or backscattered ultrasound waves to generate images in a similar way as animals use echolocation. Many different materials will have different acoustic responses or echogenicity or echo producing property, and hence they will appear differently in ultrasound images. One problem with this imaging technique is that sometimes regions of the body may have similar echogenicities, making it difficult to distinguish features from one another. An example is blood and some soft tissues. To enhance the quality of the images and aid in diagnosis, typically we use microbubbles as contrast agents to effectively scatter ultrasound and make the images brighter. A good example of this is imaging blood vessels that are very close to muscle tissues. Without contrast agents, it will be difficult to distinguish muscle tissues from the blood vessels. And with the help of contrast agents, diagnosis of diseases and assessing the health conditions of some organs become easier and require less of the expensive and invasive methods such as surgeries. Current commercial contrast agents, however, are composed of various materials which range from synthetic compounds that are foreign to the body to some biocompatible compounds. One, only one among these examples is of biological origin. Inspired by this small number of clinical ultrasound contrast agents from biologically derived materials, we thought, what if we can use materials from our body, make the ultrasound contrast agents, and safely return them to the body to perform their desired functions as imaging agents, and maybe make personalized treatments and extend their use to applications beyond imaging. So for my PhD thesis, I took this opportunity to use biologically derived and bio-inspired components in designing various smart hybrid micro and nanomaterials that can be used for ultrasound imaging. In my first project, we used red blood cell membranes to make some hybrid micro bubbles. Red blood cell membranes and bubbles from these materials are attractive due to their inherent biocompatibility since red blood cells are designed by the body to stay in the bloodstream and their versatility since red blood cell membrane bubbles can be prepared using type O red blood cells for universal contrast formulations and even the, own, the patient's own blood for personalized treatments. We invented a method that would allow us to inflate some deflated red blood cell membranes to produce these reinflated red blood cell membrane bubbles with gas pockets that strongly scatter ultrasound. And as you can see in ultrasound images here, tubes that are filled with red blood cell membrane bubbles have greater contrast than the controls with buffer and deflated red blood cell membranes. Now, can we extend the use of these contrast agents and apply them as a sensor? Can we use the increase in the brightness of the images to detect something in the target system? This is the aim of project two, where we made calcium carbonate nanoparticles with red blood cell membrane coating. This nanomaterial produces carbon dioxide bubbles at low pH environments, such as in tumor microenvironments, and this is detectable by ultrasound. Based on our ultrasound imaging at different pH values, as the pH decreases, this bubble formation is detectable and causes these bright images. This makes the smart nanoparticle system ideal as a pH biosensor and even a detection system for tumor cells. And the last capability of smart nanomaterials that I want to highlight is remote activation. Can we start with dim images 
and use a switch outside the body to make the images brighter. In this last project, we fabricated emulsion droplets that are coated with a biocompatible polymer, polydopamine. These tiny droplets can be forced to change from the liquid phase into gas microbubbles using various external triggers. In our case, we, used, we studied the use of localized heating to observe bubble formation. And as a second on switch, we took advantage of the property of, poly, of the polydopamine shell, which can effectively absorb tissue penetrating near infrared light and convert this into heat to trigger the microbubble formation. Comparing the droplets with no near infrared light exposure and the blank with near infrared, infrared light on, we cannot see any increase in the contrast in the ultrasound images since there are no bubbles forming. However, applying near infrared as an on switch system causes micro bubble formation from the droplets and causes enhancement in the ultrasound contrast, revealing the features in these images. This phase transition of the droplets into micro bubbles also opens up other applications beyond imaging. The violent bubble formation is, is an attractive opportunity for controlled drug release. We can also apply these materials in simultaneous imaging and drug delivery application, also known as theranostics. Here, we take advantage of the other properties of the polydopamine shell, which will allow us to track these droplets as they go around the body. And at the moment they reach their target region, that's where we can apply the on switch to trigger the drug release. As a summary, we have designed and fabricated various smart hybrid micro and nanomaterials for ultrasound imaging. We invented a technology that would allow us to use red blood cell membranes to make safe and personalizable imaging agents. We also fabricated a nanoparticle system that forms bubbles upon exposure, exposure to low pH environments, making them potential pH and two more biosensors. These two systems were fabricated using red blood cells, which means that in a similar way with how we usually want to personalize our clothes, customize our genes, we can design or modify and personalize our contrast agents and other healthcare materials using our own blood cells to suit our body's needs. And lastly, we demonstrated that we can use external triggers to remotely activate bubble formation from emulsion droplets. For future work, we are hoping to take advantage of these structures, responsiveness, and other properties of these systems to extend their application in drug delivery, theranostics, and other biomedical applications. Before I end, I would like to thank my amazing supervisors, my research group, Soft Materials and College Lab, my collaborators and funding bodies for all of the support. And here are some information for you if you want to know more about our research and our group. Thank you.